Hello, today we're going to look over steam radiators in today's heating. First, for a little overview, we're going to start off with a background on a steam radiator system, how they work, and why they've been used for so long. Uh, next, we'll do a ComSol simulation of the steam radiator system heating up a room. After that, we'll do a background on a newer heating system, the central heating system, and a ComSol demonstration on how that newer system can be more efficient. First, to look at some of the older systems, uh, as you can see, uh, the hot steam is entering the radiator, heating up the radiator, and then the steam is being con condensed back into water and sent back to the boiler. Um, so how the system works, first we'll start with the boiler. The water is heated up and turned into steam, is then sent through the pipe up to the radiator. The steam comes in contact with the metal in the ra radiator, and heats up the metal. Then from the metal, the heat is dissipated out to the rest of the room. And there's also an air vent on the side to release some excess steam. Uh, the water is then condensed back down and sent back through the same pipe, or as we saw in the previous video, a two pipe system where it's sent through a second pipe, uh, sent back down to the boiler for reuse. So here are assumptions that we made for our console simulation. First of all, our room is gonna be six meters by six meters. Um, our radiator is made of structural steel and has a typical power output of around 1.5 kilowatts. Uh, we're gonna be testing three types of insulators, uh, mineral wool, cellulose, and fiberglass. And those insulators are gonna be around 12 inches thick. Okay, and the temperature in our room and radiator is initially at zero degrees Celsius. And the steam temperature to the radiator is at 100 degrees Celsius and then our outer wall is made of concrete. So here is the setup that we had for our console simulation at the zero minute point. First of all, I just wanna point out what everything in this image is. You can see that the four radiators, which like we said, are made of structural steel. Then you can see right outside the radiators is the insulation, which as I said before, we are testing mineral wool, cellulose, and fiberglass as the different materials. And then outside of the insulation is the outer concrete wall. Now I wanna mention the heat transfer that will be happening in this simulation. At the base of the radiator, there is steam, which will be convecting heat to the radiator steel. Then there'll be conduction through the radiator. And then there's also conduction through the insulation and maybe even the concrete if the heat loss reaches that far. Then we also have radiation from the outside of the radiator to the room, followed by convection throughout the air in the room. So here's our first simulation of the radiators on the wall. First thing we, di we did was determine how many 1.5 kilowatt radiators that would be needed to efficiently heat our room. After many simulations, we determined that we would need four of them. We then ran simulations with all, we, we, ran, we then ran simulations with all three of the different insulations. And we determined that mineral wool was the best because it had the least amount of heat loss. And that is a simulation you see here. In addition, we found that in order to efficiently heat our room with four 1.5 kilowatt radiators with the room and radiators starting at zero degrees Celsius, it would take around 550 minutes. So that is how long this simulation is for. This makes sense because the radiator itself would take a very long time to heat up from zero degrees Celsius and then it would need to radiate heat across the room. You can also see that you do lose heat throughout through the insulation with the radiator on the wall. So we next wanted to look at systems that would heat up our room much quicker and with little to no heat loss. That leads us directly into our newer heating system, the central heating system. So as you can see here, the main point that we think is the best uh, is that we can put the vents wherever we want to. Um, so the difference between this and the radiator seat system is that it is hot air instead of hot steam, but it still works in, in mostly the same way. We like that it's in the middle of the room so it can dissipate the heat out to wherever we want. As you can see from the schematic as well, can, the vents can be placed wherever we want, and this will be able to uh, minimize our heat loss and also maximize our efficiency. So our next goal was to determine the most efficient heating system. Uh, like we mentioned before, we did determine that mineral wool is the best insulation. So that is what will be used in this heating system. 
We next needed to find the best position for the central heat sources for more consistent and quicker heating across the room with little to no heat loss through the insulation. Also, if possible, we would like to have less power output than the radiators because it would be much more cost efficient. So this is a simulation for our central heating system. We ran many different simulations and found that in order to efficiently heat every part of the room, that we would again use four heat sources, but this time the heat output of these are only 200 watts compared to 1.5 kilowatts that was used in the radiator system. We also decided that to best compare the two systems, we had first run the system at 550 minutes again, and that is what you see here. You can see that the room gets very hot much quicker, so you, you would be able to run this heating system for much less time and get the same effect. You can also see that there was pretty much no heat loss through the insulator in this system, which we couldn't see in the previous one. So now we wanted to show our faster simulation. Uh, since we saw that this system heated our room much quicker, we wanted to see how much time we would actually save. This simulation was run multiple times and we came to the conclusion that the system could heat our room just as efficient as the radiator system in around 200 minutes, which is 350 minutes quicker than what we saw in the radiator system. So to conclude everything we mentioned in this video, in the first simulation with the radiators, we determined that mineral wool was the best, best material for insulation, but that simulation also showed us that radiators are not very efficient and took a long time to heat up the room. This led us to testing out central heating systems, which we found to be much more efficient if placed between the wall and the center of the room. We also saw that the simulation, we also saw through the simulation that we could use much less heating power and get the same effect. So that would greatly reduce the cost and also gave us insight as to why these heat systems are preferred, preferred over the old radiator systems. Okay, thank you.